Uh, this is Leo at Lead Time. Um, today I want to talk with you about um, when we do a steam distillation, uh, which one is better, the fresh uh, herb or the dried herb? Um, this is an interesting question, um, especially when you uh, do it at, like in a small scale. Um, so first, in order to answer the question, we need to look at what's the difference between the fresh herb and the dried herb. Uh, so the major difference between the fresh and the dry herb is their water content. Uh, in the live plants, uh, they have around 70 to 80% of the water. Um, so that water can be uh, uh, lost you know, during the dry up. Uh, process during the drying process. Um, so comparatively, uh, the dried herbs uh, has much less water content, which could be like 60% uh, less than the fresh uh, the herbs. Uh, so uh, that makes the general rule. Um, when you do the steam distillation by using the dry herb, you may get a, a higher or more concentrated uh, distillate compared with a uh, fresh herb. Uh, because during the steam distillation, um, when the steam passes through the fresh herb, it not only uh, um, crack the, the leaves or flowers and uh, extract the essential component, but also release the water inside. Um, and when you do, when you're using the dry herb, uh, because it has very little uh, water content. Um, so in fresh herb, as I said, it can have a 70 to 80% water. And in the dry herb, it may have just less than 10% of the water. Um, so most of the, uh, the components extract out from the dry herb will be the essential component. Uh, essential compounds. Um, so that makes a difference when you're using the dry herb, uh, you can have a, a highly concentrated uh, distillate or you can get a more uh, essential oil yield because uh, you can put a more uh, the dry herb in the same container uh, compared with the fresh, you know, by using the fresh herbs. Uh, but there are some uh, exceptionals. Um, this is not a universal law. Uh, at the end of the video, I will uh, explain you um, what else you should use fresh rather than the, the dry herbs. Today, I'm going to do an experiment for you by using the fresh peppermint uh, compared with uh, dry peppermint. So you can see what's the, what's the difference uh, by using this fresh or dry herbs. Uh, peppermint, uh, picked up from my garden. Um, and this is a dried peppermint. Uh, actually, this is, I order from a, a vendor. Uh, I order organic uh, peppermint. Um, so when we use a fresh uh, herb or leaves uh, to do the distillation, um, normally, you know, I recommend you cut it cut into small pieces, uh, especially when you do like a, a small scale, like a home distillation, um, because when you cut it, uh, there are two benefits. One is uh, you can um, have a more, uh, you can uh, have more contact with the steam uh, because it's a smaller piece. Uh, and also uh, the surface, on the surface of the, the leaf, they have a shell. Uh, so that can help, um, you know, uh, break down the shell and uh, get a more expo exposure. Um, the benefit when you use the dry herbs, because uh, when they're doing the drying or especially after dry, uh, the leaf of the peppermint become very, uh, uh, crispy so you can easily crush into a small pieces and you can see how small they are and some like a crumbs is very small 
And uh, within this, I do see like uh, the stems and uh, some like uh, the flowers. Um, so you can use, that means when you do even use the fresh, you can use the whole First, piece. I cut this into a smaller pieces. Of course, uh, after you pick up, uh, you can wash it, uh, rinse it, um, then just let it dry a little bit or use a paper towel to dry it. And, uh, 500 milliliter uh, uh, lead time uh, cattle distiller. Uh, so just fit in the cup. Uh, this is called a steamer. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, you close it. So this is good. So now it's about 20 minutes. Um, so this is the second cup. I'm going to turn off my uh, uh, stove so this is the first the first cup take from the side that you can see that's uh, cloudy uh, as I show in the previous videos when you do the steam distillation uh, the fresh uh, distillate is always cloudy and the second cup uh, this one doesn't look like that cloudy I'm going to add in this glass cup so we can compare. So you can see the difference. Um, so after the first cup is very cloudy and second cup uh, is a little bit cloudy. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, not as uh, clear as uh, uh, pure water. After cool down, I'm um, going to take out the uh, finished uh, fresh uh, peppermint. I want to show you uh, what it looks like. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's first you see the color uh, is getting much darker than the fresh one. I also have some uh, fresh one here so you can compare what it looks like. Clean is a very simple um, because this is a stainless steel. Uh, it's a uh, uh, very easy to wash off all the residues. Um, so normally just uh, rinse or uh, with water. You don't really need like a brush or use a soap. Uh, only uh, if you use like a, some very high oil content and you see some residue inside, then you can use a brush and add some uh, soap. Uh, for this, uh, the peppermint, so you just uh, rinse and then let the water drain. Um, now, yeah, so you can uh, do your uh, second batch. So I'm gonna add in the, the dry uh, peppermint. Uh, pretty easy, just uh, add in. Because it's dry, so it's um, very uh, compact. Uh, this is uh, tiny pieces mm, always recommend you put a piece of a cloth um, before you put in you wet it and then just put on top uh, the reason is um, because these pieces are very light um, it, it may be uh, carried away by the steam so this help uh, to protect the uh, uh, downstream tubings Always um, try to push the stopper as hard as possible. Um, so because this is just a squeezing uh, to help prevent the leak, uh, and then um, just push in, push the tube in here. So you're ready. So I 
got the first cup from the dry uh, peppermint. Oh, this glass cup, you can clearly see. Um, you probably kind of see some, uh, um, there's a little bit difference. Uh, the second cup is almost down. Uh, I'm going to turn off the uh, stove. And so as I said, uh, this is my uh, first cup. Uh, compared with uh, the dry and the fresh. And this is the second cup of the fresh. Uh, because I don't have an actual glass uh, cup, I'm going to pour this into uh, my uh, this container. So I can, this is my second cup. I'm going to compare with that second cup. So this, uh, the second cup has a, a bigger difference compared with the first one. Um, well, they all getting uh, not as uh, cloudy as, it, as the first one. Uh, this is reasonable, um, but with the dry, you do. I do see like a little bit cloudy, uh, more cloudy compared with uh, this is uh, the second cup of the fresh. Um, the other difference is when I smell this. Um, this is definitely uh, smell uh, stronger. Is much stronger uh, than than this one. This one has a very light um, peppermint smell uh, and uh, this one, this is the second cup. Yeah, this one ha also has a pretty uh, strong uh, peppermint smell and let's compare with the first cup. Yeah, this one is, uh, I would say this almost the same with that second cup and this one this one is a, a yes this one is a little bit stronger than the second cup yeah use a uh, dry herbs it can uh, make you a uh, uh, more hydrosol uh, by using the same volume with the fresh ones uh, and uh, you can have a more concentrated uh, hydrosol um, but not all the herbs or flowers uh, you know you can use a dry you can dry ones to replace the fresh ones so the one uh, example is a rose. So uh, if you want to get the high quality uh, rose hydrosol, um, you always want to use the fresh uh, rose, especially uh, the, what's that called, the Damascus uh, um, rose. It has a very strong smell and you want to pick the rose at the time, you know, they are not fully um, blossom. Um, also some other herbs like uh, the bay leaf um, you want to use the fresh ones um, so the I, I think the general rule is if you smell something when it's fresh it has a very strong very fragrant um, you want to use the fresh ones uh, because that means you know that volatile compound which is very important uh, to keep uh, and extract into the hydrosol or essential oil. Uh, those uh, the very strong smell things. The 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 volatile uh, is easily vaporized. So for those, <clears throat> you want to use the fresh ones. And I also want to use the the fresh ones in the young stage, like the flower. You use that before they fully blossom, and the leaves. You want to find the young leaves. Uh, yes, so this is today's video. Hopefully uh, you learn something from it. Uh, if you have a uh, comments or questions, please uh, leave uh, leave here and also uh, please like the video, subscribe and also um, send to your friends. Thank you and see you next time.